Hey, this is the video on HOP2000, in particular, how do you deal with the fuel cost file. Uh, I'm just going to start here by uh, creating quickly a new file here, a new house file. Uh, create a file, and uh, I'm up here at the top of the tree where it says house, and come across here the tabs to fuel cost. Um, and you can see here the default library that is being used for the fuel cost. Uh, Hot 2000 sometimes installs itself into the root directory on your C drive, which is what's happened on my computer. Probably not where you really want it, uh, but that might be where it is. And in that case, the uh, the fuel cost library is also there. Um, it's my you can see that uh, we have a number of rate blocks that are already here in the fuel cost library. Kind of a uh, a big confusing mess and. Uh, so my feeling is it's better to start by creating your own fuel cost library that's nice and clean than trying to edit and deal with this one. So I'm going to show you how to create a new fuel cost library and how to associate it with your file. So I've just opened a new uh, house file here. My house now has some walls and ceilings and a foundation uh, associated with it. If I do an Alt-C I can force a calculation and uh, by doing that I get this window here and it shows that I have a good file with uh, lots of good calculations in there. So to create a fuel cost library uh, I'm going to go up here to uh, file and choose new and then fuel cost and uh, I get this uh, new screen here. My house uh, file is still around in the background and I can go back to it later, but we're gonna build a fuel cost file. The five fuels that are available here in HOT2000 are uh, these ones here. And so we're gonna associate costs with uh, as many of these files, uh, as many of these fuels as we need to for the house that we're gonna model. So if I click on electricity and then I hit the dollar sign, this opens up a rate block worksheet. And uh, I can put in here uh, the prices for this particular fuel. So there's the place and the date, which is a good way to identify it. Um, check the units here, make sure it's what you want. We buy electricity in kilowatt hours, so that sounds good to me. Down here is where things start to get a little confusing. Uh, this block here that says charge is where many people want to put the price per kilowatt hour. That's not correct. Uh, this block here is for a fixed monthly charge. So most electricity bills uh, and natural gas bills include a charge that you pay every month, even if you don't use any of the fuel at all. Uh, and that's what you would put here. So if I paid $25 a month for the pleasure of being connected to the electricity grid, uh, I would put that here, uh, and then when uh, Hot 2000 calculates my file, it will put 12 times $25 into my uh, annual electricity cost uh, once for every month. And then the variable rate for what I actually use will be added on top of that. Um, over here you have uh, the price. Normally it begins at zero and we rarely change this. Um, so if I had a fixed price, uh, in other words, uh, even if I use um, a whole lot of this uh, commodity, the price is always the same. Then I just enter a large number here. These blocks here are monthly numbers, so I would use uh, a number that was bigger than anything uh, that I thought my program would ever calculate per month. Um, and I could go ahead um, and put in my price over here, uh, and that would basically be um, a simple fuel price block. Um, if, on the other hand, I have a fuel price that changes uh, the more I use, so if it was uh, 17 cents for the first 1,000 kilowatt hours and uh, then for the next 1,000 kilowatt hours, so in other words, from 1,000 to uh, 2,000, uh, then I would put 2,000 down here, um, and then uh, Perhaps it costs less when you use more. Perhaps it costs more. Um, depends on uh, how your utility is trying to uh, create incentives for you to uh, either spend more or spend less. Um, so if I set it up this way, um, this means that from zero to a thousand kilowatt hours, my price is 17 cents. 
from 1,000 to 2,000, my price is 19 cents. So that would be a fuel cost block, a rate block. If I come back to my commodity here and hit the dollar sign again, um, I get a chance to put in another block. So uh, if I also, uh, maybe I also do work in Ottawa, like to have an Ottawa block. So there's a second block. Um, similarly, I can come down here um, and for all my fuels, here where I live, we buy natural gas in cubic meters. I'm going to select that as the unit. And there I've created a rate block for natural gas. And uh, similarly, I can do it for oil, propane, and wood. Um, and in fact, in order to save the program, I do have to create at least a default one. So I'm just going to click the dollar sign, get a rate block full of zeros, do the same thing for propane, do the same thing for wood. And I'm almost good to go. Uh, the last thing I have to do now is designate a default rate block for each of my fuels. That makes sense if I have two different rate blocks. Um, doesn't make sense if I've only got one, but we've got to do it anyway. So we come down here and we hit the thumb, thumbs up little one here to set a default rate block uh, for each of our fuels. And the dollar signs turn green. Once I've done that, then uh, I'm good to go to save this fuel cost file. So I'll click save here. And uh, now it offers me uh, the place where I'd like to put it. Uh, fuel cost files all have the suffix FLC after it. And so we want to uh, save it in a place that will be the same place we're going to save our house files, our .hse files, so that uh, when you open the house file, providing you've saved your fuel cost file in the same directory, then uh, if, it, if you've previously associated it, the program will find it and everything will work out fine. If you save your fuel cost file somewhere else, um, it's not going to work out. So put it in the same directory where you're planning to save your .hse files or where you already have. Now I can close uh, my fuel cost editor, editor up here, being careful to click the lower X and not the top one. Top one will close the entire HOT 2000 program. Um, I just want to close the fuel cost part and that will bring me back to my house. Um, I can come back up here to house and the fuel cost tab and now I can change the fuel cost library that I'm associating with this house and go look for the one that I just created. So there I have associated the new file. I come across here I can see I've got Ottawa and Kingston rate box here. Kingston came up. Natural gas, I've only got Kingston, and for these ones, I just have default rate blocks, which is uh, the way that uh, I created that file, so that looks good. Um, if I do an Alt-C, um, my fuel costs now are based on the new costs that are in that file over there. Um, another way to check that things are working the way that you want them to is come up here under Reports, um, choose a selective house report, and unclick everything and choose fuel costs as the only part of your report and uh, have a look at your report and uh, as you scroll down to the bottom of this you will find the fuel cost library listed and uh, here we have um, includes both the rate blocks not just uh, the ones that we used uh, but there's electricity here um, natural gas fuel oil and so on so all the rate blocks that are in effect um, these ones were zero. Electricity is the Kingston rate block. Uh, that's the one that's in effect. So we can see which uh, fuel our file is using and make sure that it's what we think it should be. So that is a quick tour of fuel cost files in HOT 2000. This is Ian Kilborn, St. Lawrence College.